Hi everyone, so this is my week 27 pregnancy vlog. As you can see I've got Holly in this with me, bless her. Back to school tomorrow isn't it Holly? Yeah and I can't wait. So I'm going to be cleaning all day long. I've got lots to catch up with <laughs> and I say a lot. Um, I think I'm kind of going into nesting mode. I want to clean all my cupboards out, get everything organised, um, start you know getting ready really. Hi Georgie. Um, I've been wanting to do it for a couple of weeks. I've just been so busy with the kids that I've not had a chance to do anything. So, hoping tomorrow I'll be able to get it done. I'm coming to it on my knee. Oh, there's no room on my knee. Thanks, camera done, yes. And I've got Georgie sat with us now as well. Um, so, obviously I'm in nesting mode. I'm just going to try and have a quick think of the rest of the symptoms that I've had going on. Um, well, today I've basically woken up with a really stuffy nose, um, a bit of a sore throat, and do you know what? How typical is that? I go through the whole of the summer holidays feeling like I, I never get poorly. I don't really get poorly. I know I have a problem with my eyes, but really I don't get poorly that often. And the day before the kids go back, I start to feel a bit run down. Um, I just feel like I've got a bit of a head cold coming. So <laughs> let's hope it stays that way. Mama. It like, mama. It is mama. And baby. And baby, yeah. And let's hope that it doesn't turn into anything worse. <sighs> oh, I've not been sick. I've felt sick at times, but I've not been throwing up madly or anything. Daddy. Are you taking photos of yourself? <laughs> Weight gain wise, um, I got weighed last week. Before I fell, fell pregnant, well at the start, start of the time when I fell pregnant, my weight is always eight stone 10. I'm five foot four and a half, um, five foot five, one of the two. I'd say five foot four and a half. Um, and my weight, as I just said, is, is eight stone 10. Every time I've like had a baby, my weight has gone down to that, my, my weight has gone down to that, that size. Um, and then I got weighed at my friend's house last week, or Mama. a few days short of last week, and I weighed, uh, 10 stone which is quite a big gain but I think it's reasonable I'm pretty sure that that's what I weighed with the boys I think and the girls as well actually at this time in my pregnancy um, I'm 28 weeks tomorrow I really can't believe where the last 28 weeks have gone it just seems to have gone so fast does it to you? Yeah. I don't think my bump is overly big you do don't you? I think it's massive it's two months until she's put puppies on. Oh, bless you. It's only because you're used to seeing me without a belly. I think, well, I've been pregnant that many times now, but I think you're used to seeing me with a belly as well, aren't you? Her movements, though, when I feel her movements and can feel a bodily part, Mama. I think she doesn't feel too tiny. Um, I can feel limbs and stuff rising to the top of my belly now while I'm walking down the street and I touch it and I'm like, hot. I'm like, oh my god, I'm sure that feels like a leg or a knee. And I just think it's amazing how they can grow in such a short space of time. I just another one of them things that I can't get my head out of really. Um, and also I have been starting to get a little bit hormonal, emotional again. You're gonna go find daddy. I'm just feeling really, really overwhelmed. Are you alright there? Sit down. Oh my god. Um, yeah, just generally feeling mega, mega overwhelmed. Tiredness on a scale of 1 to 10. Tiredness, I've been about 7.5. Um, not today so much, but yesterday and the day before, I just felt really, really tired. I think I just had a couple of sofa days. Um, I am starting to feel more out of breath now. I can, and when I try and bend down, it's like I've got a bump in the way <laughs> and I just keep, I kind of feel, you know, full all the time. Um, with regards to Braxton Hicks, I've not had any more really. I think I've had one since my last video where I had one, which is quite a strong one actually, during the video. But this time, this week, I've had one in the whole space of the week. So... I think that's quite good really. Anyway, I'm going to show you my belly. Just put my top on. Try 
trying to feel where she is right now. I still don't really have a dark line or anything. I think it's really quite neat, just the same as when I was pregnant with the boys. My stretch marks seem to be appearing up here more now as well, especially on this side. And that big one there, I had that, that got that from the girls. I'm so bummed up. And also I mentioned to you a couple of weeks ago, I think it was, about belly mapping. Um, I've been on the Spinning Babies website loads to try and suss out this belly mapping. But I can't really... The only time I try... The, when I try and see it, you see what it says about it. It just takes me through, do I want to buy the book? I don't really want to buy the book. Um, I just want to someone to say to me, <laughs> this is how you feel for this bit. This is how I feel for this bit. Um, just explain to me how you do it I mean I feel like I'm a bit hit and miss but some with when I'm doing it but some people really know what they're doing with it so if any of you um, can explain to me how I, I lay down I feel for a bum I feel for a head how do you know that it's a difference between a foot and an arm or a hand or a head and a bum and a back um, if someone could just explain to me then I would really appreciate that I've read a few things online, but nothing that I really think, right, I'm gonna do that. I make That makes complete sense to me. Um, so if you've got any experience with that, I'd be really, really grateful if you could share your knowledge with belly mapping with me. Because I'm hoping that when I go for my appointment next Monday, this Monday, coming, um, that she's gonna be in a decent position so that I don't have to worry <laughs> and that she'll stay there because um, I think by 30 weeks, even though there's 10 weeks for her to move, I think ideally by 30 weeks she should be like trying to get into, I don't mean an engaged status, I mean getting into a position where she's going to stay um, for a while anyway. So yeah, if any of you have got any knowledge of any of this, how to explain to me what it feels like, I just can't seem to distinguish anything. Um, then yeah just comment me please and let me know so um, I'm gonna go because I feel like I'm gonna properly sneeze my head off in a minute and uh, I've got some pack ups to make and some children to put to bed and um, yeah I've been alright um, so I will see you all again soon okay thank you for watching bye bye